Hey everybody, Dino Dan back with you. Just wanted to spend a few minutes and walk you through the value file system that is a feature inside of C3. And of course, C3 is the tuning application within the framework of our PowerCore software. So today we're gonna to be uh, jumping into C3, which I have open here. And I've got three files open at the moment for no good reason, but I have an STK and a DJT. Of course, if you've watched the other video, you'll know that an STK is an original ECU backup or an original ECU tune. And the DJTs are uh, Dynojet tune files. Okay, so a value file is pretty straightforward. A lot of times when you're tuning, you make a lot of consistent changes to things like fuel and timing, and they almost become constants as you approach a new calibration. You know what you're going to do. You address those certain tables. Uh, and once you have some history there to know that you uh, have made the right decisions and the vehicle is performing well, you may want to save bits and pieces of that calibration, not the entire calibration, but just bits and pieces of it. Things like target AFR, max requested AFR, and things like spark. You may come up with a really nice 91 octane spark profile for the vehicle that you're tuning. And you may just want to repurpose that to another vehicle that you're tuning. So in this case, we're working on a, a Can-Am Riker. And so it's really straightforward to go in and look at the spark table, main ignition table. Okay, here are the values. Now these are uh, most likely uh, changed from stock. And I'll do another video exactly uh, to show exactly how to compare files and see what the differences are between the two. But let's just say that I'm in love with this ignition timing table for 91 octane. It works really well. I can go up here to the ribbon and select value files and export values. Here I can interface with this dialog and I can check all of these items, which are literally all of the tree view calibration items, all the tune items, if you will, all in a big long list. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom, up to the top. They're all in alphabetical order, whereas the folder view over here are broken uh, into different groups and subgroups that are not in alphabetical order. But in any case, here I can check modified. So any calibration item that has been modified from stock is gonna show up here with a checkbox if I hit check modified. So I'm gonna uncheck all again. I'm gonna go down here and look for ignition timing because I know this ignition timing is great for a 91 octane on this particular Can-Am Riker 900. So all I need to do is say, yeah, I want that piece of the calibration. Hit export value, type in the file name, 91 octane. Done. Now what I'll do for demonstration purposes is go to the original file. This is the OEM STK file. Now, if I want to simply import those values for this ignition timing table. I go back up to value file, import values, select 91 octane. Okay. Is this what I want? Boy, it sure is. Apply values. Done. So of course you can also copy and paste. So this is a little cheat here. You just tap the top left corner, just like Microsoft Excel. It'll highlight the entire table. I can right click and copy, or on my keyboard, I can hit Control C, okay? That's really all there is to the value file system. It's a real time saver, again, when you're taking those specific tables and the values within them that you have found that work well, and you want to use pieces um, 
of that calibration, the values from that calibration, as opposed to the whole calibration. So I hope you found this helpful. And um, I guess before I sign off, what I'll also do is, is just uh, I'm gonna import again, just for demonstration, import 93 octane values. And I've got a few other things in here besides the main ignition timing. There's there's a few other items that I that I created in this value file. Hit apply values. C3 does the work for me. And there you go. Okay, hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you next time.